So in this video we're going to have a look to a tool that helps automate terminal operations which is called Clive. So if you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here and in this video we're going to have a look to a very handy tool which is called Clive which actually uses the TTYD package to create shell sessions and actually simulate terminal actions. So without any delay let's get down to work. So as you can see I am in the official repository page for the Clive project which is created by Koki develop user and as it is saying in the about section this tool will automate terminal operations. So you'll actually see what I really mean about this and why this is a very handy tool. So if I scroll down over here we've got the releases section which you can download whichever version for your use case and if I scroll more over over here we've got the basic documentations about the prerequisites and installation and actually making use of this tool. So in the prerequisites section we can see that Clive requires TTYD version 1.7.0 or higher which can be installed in many ways also if you want to know what TTYD is over here I've got the repository link and actually this is a tool to share terminal or a web interface. Also, if you want to learn more about this tool, you can find the link to one of my videos in the description section down below. So in the installation section, also we can install Clive in many ways with package managers or go install, but actually I'm going to install it using the released binary files. So from the releases section, we can find the relevant links to our operating system. So because I'm in Ubuntu Linux, I'm going to download the Clive Linux 64 bit. So if I move to VS Code, you can find a readme file in my repository in the Clive directory. Of course, I'll put the repository link down below. If you want, you can access it easily. So actually in this readme file, I've got all the necessary things to get started. So by using this wget command, we'll go ahead and grab the version 0.12.7 and exactly the Clive Linux 64 bit. So after we download this, if I hit ls, you can see that I've got the .tar.gz file over here. And by using the tar command, I'm going to extract the Clive binary out of this .tar.gz file. So if I hit ls again, you can see that I've got a Clive binary file which is green, which means that it is an executable file. So actually in order to access this binary file from any directory, I'm going to use this copy command to copy this executable file to slash user local bin directory. If I hit enter and right now if I say Clive, dash dash version you can see that it is exactly the same version that I just downloaded. So right now we've got the Clive installed but as mentioned in the documentation in order for Clive to be able to run correctly it requires the TTYD package also. So again by hitting this wget command which again downloads the executable file from the releases and the version that is about 1.7.0 so actually after downloading this you'll have the ttyd executable file in your current directory so after that if it is not executable by using the chmod command plus x to the downloaded TTYD binary file will actually make it executable. So again, by using the copy command, I'm going to also copy TTYD executable file to slash user local bin. So I'll hit enter. And right now, if I say TTYD dash dash version, you can see that it is also exactly the same version that I just downloaded. So right now I've got the Clive and everything it needs and now I should be able to start using Clive. So if I go to the documentation over here we can see that by hitting 
Clive in it. It will create a Clive.yaml file, which will include a sample scenario of commands that Clive will try to execute using TTYD package. So if I hit that command, over here you can see that it generates a Clive.yaml file, which includes something like this. So generally we have the settings section and over here we've got the actions section. So basically in the settings section we define some attributes and in the actions section we actually define what Clive do in the TTYD session that will be created. Like for example we've got actions like type which will actually type the following string in the terminal and also the key which will actually simulate hitting that key on the keyboard also we've got count which will repeat the action at the given times and also we've got the speed which is the speed of this action so going back to the documentation over here we've got all the commands that we can run like we saw the init command that creates a sample configuration file the start command which we'll use shortly to actually start Clive with the given configuration file the validate command which will try to validate the configuration file and actually it will throw the relevant errors if the configuration file is misconfigured and the completion which generates the autocomplete script that we can add to our OS so we can have auto completion on this command. So moving down over here we can see all the actions that we can pass in the configuration file which is type that actually types characters in the terminal, the key which actually simulates hitting that key on the keyboard, CTRL which simulates holding the control command, sleep will actually put a gap between running the actions and pause will actually pause the execution of the given commands until we hit enter on the TTYD session and the screenshot command that will actually take a screenshot from the moment that we call this and by passing the screenshot directory it will save the screenshot in that given directory so in order to run this I'll go to the terminal over here and if I say clive validate-c clive.yaml as a result I can see that the clive.yaml file is a valid configuration file for clive so if I say clive start-c clive.yaml so keep in mind that the clive.yaml file is the default configuration file name so I can also remove this as it is the default value so if I hit enter you can see that it creates a terminal on a web interface and does exactly the things that I defined in the clive.yaml file so we can see that it it actually echoed welcome to clive hit enter once and again hit enter 10 times and it typed the touch high hits enter to create that file and it calls a string inside that high file so I'll close this window so as a result if I hit ls I can see that I have got a high file over here if I say cat high I can see that it's exactly the same string that I echoed inside that high file so we've got things like headless which will actually run the web interface in the background and won't actually create a window also we've got the escape pause before quit as we saw in the previous run it waited for me to close the created window to exit out of execution so by passing through for this attribute it will automatically exit the web interface after the execution is done also by passing the screenshot dir we can pass the exact directory that that we want our screenshots to be saved and actually by passing in the screenshot action over here and passing the name i should be able to have the screenshot of the result of the execution after i run the clive again so if i save this file i'll say clive start 
I'll hit enter you can see that it doesn't create any window and runs it in headless mode and exits after the execution is finished so as a result I can see that a picture has been generated and if I open this you can see that it is exactly the same thing that we saw on the window so that's all for this video I hope you learn something new in this one actually this is a very handy tool and actually I'm using it for some repetitive tasks which actually saves me a lot of time so don't forget to watch the other videos on my channel also I'll put the link to the TTYD video down below and lastly if you found this video interesting just don't forget to like and subscribe so that's all I've got in this video and with that I hope to see you in the next videos.